replacing that fan motor in there, replacing this motor, which is according to the thing, it's the combustion blower motor. Re put that in your Google search to find the part. To replace this is far more inconvenient because it looks like it's welded in here, but it's not. It's just got an end shoved into this pipe. But this pipe goes all the way to the top. The motor itself goes through this frame piece. There's no easy way to get it out of there. Yeah, there's no easy way to get that sucker out of there. So we'll have to do the hard way. And for that, Back the camera up here a bit. For that, we need into this bottom part. And it works just like the top part, it just pops apart, and then just maneuver it out of the out of your closet or whatever tiny little space it's in. Now, in order to remove this pipe. which as you can see, you got the pipe goes down, then in the middle, right here, is the thing we need to replace. But it goes into this pipe, so it can't come out that way, and it goes into the middle of this contraption after it passes through this bulkhead. So it can't come out of that easily either. What you need to do is, discon is undo this from this back bulkhead here, rotate it, drop this down a little, then pull it forward and out. And that's what we're going to do now. The first step is undoing the screws around that combustion chamber. Turn my headlight on here. All right, now, as you can see, there's one, two, three. There's another one here, and there's some more around underneath, all the way around to here. There better not be one right behind there. No, it's a solid piece there, okay. So that is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna remove those and I'm gonna rotate that just a little bit so that this will come loose. And this is kind of a sketchy part because between this and the bulkhead, there is a gasket. If you break that gasket, what do you think's gonna happen? Maybe you're gonna have natural gas get out and fill up your house and explode and kill you and your family and your neighbors. Maybe you're going to have the results of combustion, carbon monoxide, get out and just kill your family and leave the neighbors alone. But either way, you know, it's not good stuff. You want to be careful. You don't want to do that if, well, you're a freaking idiot. Now me, <laughs> it's maybe debatable whether or not I'm an idiot or not, but I am not afraid. I am certain that I can do it without killing myself. And I'm smart enough to know that if I do tear that gasket, don't put anything together, you know, buy a gasket and then put that crap back together. I will now commence the unscrewing. Pineapple chunks. That's an empty can, we'll throw screws in it. Let's see, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I'm not gonna take that all the way out yet. But this one, out and in the can. That one's loose, but I'm not going to take it out all the way yet.
can. I like to leave the top ones in place when I take something apart because when I do, once the bottom ones are out, it's still hanging by the top ones. If you take the top ones out first, you get a bottom one halfway through and the part's going to flop on you before you get it out. Does that make sense to you? I don't know how anyone else would do, but it seems perfectly sensible to me. It may be a smart person. Maybe a smart person would have enough sense to go over here and turn off the gas valve. You know, I don't know that it's going to make a difference, but hey. We're going to do it because I thought of it. And probably you should do it too. There's that bottom center one, and I'm going to leave it in there without taking it all the way out. Don't knock over your can full of screws because that would be bad. These are not screws that you can do, you know, you might be able to do without one of these. But down here, these are important ones. These keep the fire contained. Okay, we will take out this one now. And so we are left with one at the bottom. You know what? No, I will put that one back in. No, I won't. I will put this one back in. But not tight, just a little. It's, it's in the hole, but it's not super tight. So now that it's hanging on that one, now it's got that one there to hang on. I don't need this one here. I can take it out. Put it in the can. So we've got this one here at the top and this one here at the bottom. And at this point, you might want to take a drink of your beverage. My beverage of choice. So we're left with one screw at the top, one screw at the bottom. The reason I put this one back, I'm going to use that one as a hinge. I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to swing this to the side and keep this one in place so that it just pivots around that one. Maybe a different one would have been better, but that's the one I'm going to use. It seemed like that was a, a distance enough away that if this swings down just a little, this thing can come loose. And I hope it comes loose easily. But we'll find out. Okay, that one's out. Loosen that one just a smidge. Okay, now, so, turn my headlamp back on, now, what we're going to do, now that we've got just the one screw here to pivot, 
we're going to ease this thing this way. Turn it just, and be very careful because this is an expensive part inside here. Turn it very carefully clockwise to give yourself a little bit of slack. You can see it opened up a little room up here, a little bit of room there. That's about as much room as it's going to give me. But this pipe can't drop out anyway because this is in the way. It looks to me like it has to come out the top. Which means removing the pipe. Now, the pipe is not really held in there by much of anything. Up here at the top, it's got a goo layer right here, some kind of sticky stuff. And you'll notice that was a pocket knife. I'm just gonna have a chop at it with the pocket knife and see if I can take that pipe loose. Stupid camera. Stupid tripod, excuse me. I love my camera. Okay, now, What this goo is, I really couldn't say. What to replace it with, damned if I know. But it does not go all the way around. I think it's mostly there just to hold this pipe in place rather than provide any sort of a seal. Because as you can see, you know, it just started right there. doesn't go beyond there. Move my can of screws before I go kicking them all over the place. Now let's just take off that little dangly piece. I believe that was the back side of the goo right there. Only went about halfway around the pipe maybe not real shit. maybe not really even half maybe that's good enough so far We'll ease the little blower motor as far down as we can. Get a little bit of slack here. And the pipe pops off. Shazam! That was a horrible screeching noise. But there's the top of our motor. Oh, and that, yeah, that ain't even trying to turn. 
Okay, let me get the camera in here. Oh, I see it with my my wand I was stepping on. All right, there is our thing. Just sitting on top of the blower now. We'll take you loose. On the top, you've got this biscuit cutter looking job. Down inside there is that motor. See if I can move my headlamp. See, there's the fan blades. And it doesn't even want to move. None at all. But, she just lifts right out now. They're down inside it again. Uh, it's pretty grungy looking. Ain't no wonder that thing didn't work. Nasty. I think something fell out of it. <laughs> 